Hello and welcome to this edition of Center Coast Bass Fishing Shows. Now today I'm just going to be doing a little intro. I actually always stay for the finals. I haven't been in one yet, but I stay. Uh, I filmed the top four of the pros at the FLW Rayovac at the Delta. It was really cool in this one because three of the four pros I'd fished with before. Mark Daniels was actually my pro the first time I did the Clear Lake FLW. And Vu Awu and Roy Hawk were actually my pros this year at this tournament at the Delta. So it was really cool, there's some drama, there's a big sack weighed in, there's some humor. Let's check it out. Top four pro weigh-in, FLW Rayovac at the Delta, 2014. Three ounces, 63.7, let's give him a big round of applause. Good job, Bob. Well, you didn't have the big one, but they were all about the same size. They were all good fish. Uh, yeah, they're clone fish, but uh, I caught everything uh, this week uh, on a DNM and a piranha. And then once I, once I got my, you know, 18 to 20 pounds a day, I would go, you know, throw a compass uh, frog around try to catch a kicker. The first day I got two big kickers, but uh, second day and the third day, no kicker. So, but I'm happy uh, about what I found. So. That is good. <laughs> Keepers, you think you caught this one? Gosh, I was beaming four pounders yesterday and the day before that. They definitely shut down a little bit. I know you got some great folks you want to thank for being here. Um, my family, of course, my wife, she's at home watching, my, my parents, you know, and all my, my friends, family, uh, my sponsors, Marjorie, John, uh, John Nasmanka, he pays for my entry, he's like a fish hard, and all the time. And, uh, Big Joe, he watches the shop while I'm gone. FLW for coming out west and supporting us. My little brother, you know, I just have a blast fishing. Well, buddy, we know we've got a hot seat warmed up for you. Don't know how it's going to come out, but you do have the hot seat. Let's give him a big round of applause. Awesome job. Many of you don't know this, folks, but we're, we're partners with the TBF. A great relationship, partners in fishing. This next angler is the reigning TBF national champion. He got an opportunity because of his finish to fish the tour, but no charge to him. He's done an excellent job. He's way high in the rookie standings. He had 45-11 coming in. He needs 17-12 to take the lead. From Fairfield, California, Mark Daniels Jr. Let's give him a big round of Man, I'm doing great, man. I'm back home. It feels great. You know, I, uh, I came out here with, we started off to surprise my mom for Mother's Day. She's sitting right here in the front. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day again, Mom. Uh, came out and hung out with some of my great buddies that I've been fishing with for years, Juwan Andrews and Harvey Pulliam. And we just went out and caught a couple of fish. And I said, you know what, I just might jump in this tournament. And, uh, and I did, and it's been a great week. So what an awesome place to fish. Uh, you know, there's no place, in my opinion, like the California Delta. I truly believe it's one of the best fisheries we have in the nation. Uh, you know, being back east now fishing on tour, I've got a taste of some of the real, you know, the Okeechobees and things of that nature, which are also really great fisheries. But this place just continues to put out monster bags time after time, and, uh, you know, it's just really special. Well, you know what guy over there, and you know that he's tickled to death sitting in that chair and does not want to get out of it. No, that's a that's the place to be. Like you said, you can't win if you don't sit there. That's right, man. Well, let's find out what you got. You got to have 17 pounds, 12 ounces. He's won $210,000 with us. Sixth event, second top ten, fish number one. Looking for 1712. Digging for fish number two. Needs 17 pounds, 12 ounces. Whoa. Fish number two. 
Digging for fish number three. Lunch bite. Seventeen twelves are marked to be. Digging for fish number four. See if he's got his five bass limit. He thinks there's one more in there, maybe. Yes, he does! Almost neat sideboard for the old box right here. I got heads sticking out everywhere. Settle down, girls. We're going to put you out. We're going to move. Five bass limit. Today win, man. You know, they, you know, there's no place like home. I've been riding that whole model all week, man, and uh, I almost started out to fish that this tournament. And I said, you know what? It's my home body of water. This is where I cut my teeth. I've been fishing here all my life. Why not? And so I went ahead and I signed up for it. And uh, my day one was a little rough on me. I had 17 pounds. I never got a good bite. And then I just kind of fine-tuned the bite as the week progressed. Continue to change up baits, techniques, and things of that nature. And then I found out where the, in my opinion, some more pre spawn females that hadn't moved up to spawn yet were at. And I was able to uh, dial in on them today. Those pre spawn fish are weigh about a pound more than the other fish. So that, that opinion looked like all those fish right there were just getting ready. Yeah, those are, uh, yeah, they, they're just pulling up. They're feeding real heavily right now. They're probably going to go here in the next day or two. This is like the tail end of the spawn here on the Delta. Uh, it usually doesn't go much later than this, generally, you know, into the first week of June for the most part. So, you know, I caught them just right, man, and uh, made it happen. Bait of choice. Bait of choice for me with a beaver style bait, fungi, uh, is what I call most of my fish on. Uh, but I did have to, you know, in the California Delta this time of year, when you're dealing with all three stages of the of the spawn. You got pre-spawn, you got spawn, and post-spawn, you got to be able to change it up. And so I, I threw buzz baits. I weighed fishing on buzz baits. I weighed fishing on sinkos. I weighed fishing on frogs. But I kept a big stick in my hand 90% of the time, and that's where I caught my biggest bass on. You had more than one big bass today. That was, that was a super <laughs> bag of fish, man. It was, man. Today was phenomenal, man. Me and uh, the gentleman who won on the coin beside Darren, we had an absolute blast today. It was never a dull moment. We laughed. It wasn't too stressful. It wasn't, oh, my God, we got to catch him. And we just relaxed. We didn't really catch him right off the bat. You know, I just kept my head down and continued to grind. And, uh, you know, as the day progressed and that tide fell out and, and, and what I was looking for started to happen, and I was just able to maximize on my opportunities and uh, put them in the box. Well, buddy, we got the seat warmed up for you. You've made it tough for everybody else. Let's give him a big round of applause, Mark Daniels. Yeah. Our next angler, 45-11 coming in. He has to have 26-12 to take the lead. For Blake Havasu City, Arizona, Roy Hawk. Let's give Roy a big round of applause. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Great day. Yeah, it is. It's uh, it's always a great day when you're out here. Uh, glory be to God. You know, uh, it gives me the peace to be able to do this for a living. And uh, you know, you can't do you can't do this not knowing when your next check's coming, how you're gonna get it, how you're gonna pay this bill and that without the Lord on your side. So He always gives me the peace in my heart to be able just to just focus on fishing and not worry about the, the minimal details. So. Um, real quick, you know, I, I know we'll get into some other stuff, but I want to say how thankful I am for my family, their love and support, uh, having my son out here and watching him get in the top ten. I mean, that's awesome. My wife back at home, my mom, my mother-in-law, my other, my other son, and, and uh, my two stepkids. Who's back? He's back uh, east on the tour. And, uh, Means the world. I, every tournament, I'm so excited to go fishing. Because he pre go to the next and be good. You know, I'm just stoked. <laughs> but as soon as I get there, I'm so excited to get back home. So I love you guys. <laughs> what about that guy over? He kind of showed out today. Yeah, that's going to be a tough act to follow, man. But I'm, I, dude, I mean, the opportunities that he's had and, and to see him up here and, and the position that he's in right now, it's, it's something that we all dream about. And FLW makes that happen, and he is literally living the dream. No doubt about it. That's what his title is, Living a Dream. 
All right, you've got to have 26 pounds, 12 ounces. But don't forget ounces is money in this game. There's a lot of money to be won in the last two people to weigh in, no matter how it comes out. Fish number one, Roy's won about $400,000 with his 43rd event, two wins, eight top ten, five championships. Fish number two, dig it for fish number three. Dig it for fish number four. There's a chunk. Digging for fish number five. He does have his five bass limit. Five bass in the bag. Looking for 26.12. His five bass a day weigh. 13 pounds, 14 ounces, 59.9, all the way to third place. Let's give him a big round of applause. How'd you catch him? You know, uh, I was really just living you know, day by day. But I caught two great big ones on beds. Uh, the first day, me and my son found them late uh, late in the day in practice, uh, the last day of practice, and uh, I was lucky. I mean, they, they stayed there. I caught both of them within about five minutes, and they were they were about two miles apart. And I caught both of those on uh, one of my sponsor's baits, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits, uh, the, uh, the bigger flap of mine. Uh, on braid and everything. I mean, it was awesome to be able to hook those fish, be able to see it, watch it, and then hook them on a mean stick and just hang on. It was a rodeo. So, I mean, really, I caught a nine to ten. I mean, that was a big chunk of my weight. And then after that, I caught most of them on uh, topwater frogs, spooks, um, a couple on a uh, 12 inch L moto worm. That was kind of cool. Um, that's about it. It was, uh, you know, overall, I caught a lot of fish, just just small ones. I never really could. I love throwing reaction baits. You know? I never could figure out what they were doing as far as being able to you know, throw a reaction bait. Usually, usually I crank this time of year. I could never dial it in. I mean, I catch small ones, but I never find them like piles of really, you know, those bigger fish. So I don't know. I had a great, I had a great time. I feel really blessed to get in the top ten and have the opportunity to catch those big ones. It was really cool. So. I know you got some great sponsors you want to find. I do. Uh, like I said before, I mean, the number one sponsor out there and my, the only true hero that ever existed, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's amen. You know, to that. Uh, my wife and family, of course, and then uh, Ranger Boats, Evergreen Motors. I, I got a new sponsor, uh, Dual Realis. They make uh, phenomenal little hard baits and stuff, and they're expanding that line. And, uh, just awesome stuff. I've been catching a lot of fish on them. I've been catching a lot of fish on them here, but I, in general, man, I, I have. I need. I was tearing them up a couple weeks ago up there on it. But anyway, uh, check out their stuff. Gary on Moto Custom Baits, another good one. And uh, I missed one. <laughs> it always happens. Pepper. Uh, some really good friends of mine that I have for a long time. Been involved with their company for a long time. Uh, Pepper Custom Baits. Buddy, I know it's. I know that we're going to see you again. We see you every time we come out here. God bless you. And thanks for the kind words. It's always a pleasure to see you. Likewise, man. Can't wait to do it again. Let's give him a big round of applause. All right, folks, here we are. One of these two guys is going to win. 30, almost $39,000 in cash. For one of the anglers, there is a fully rigged Ranger boat. Total value, if the boat's won, $85,000. $46,400 coming in. These 26-3 to take the lead. Tabuco Canyon, California. Kyle Grover, let's give Kyle a big round of applause. Hey, buddy, how are you? I'm good, yeah. I had, I had a lot of fun this week. You know, I, I got to come up with my dad and just hang out for a week and just go fishing. And, you know, I like... I'm not really used to coming somewhere where you can catch them in practice. It's not really a huge deal, you know, to catch a few here and there. It was just, it was just a really fun week, you know. Never, never been here before. Uh, it's cool to be up here, you know. I got local stick over here, and it's, it was just fun. I had a blast. Tell you what, this is an awesome place, and if you practiced all week, you're probably sore from catching fish. Yeah, my my arm hurts pretty bad. Uh, I caught. Most, other than the two big ones, I found a really good spot the first day that I kind of spooked a bunch of fish out of a one little island that I found wow, that had a spawning pocket with some bluegills in the back of it. I spooked all these big ones on just because I was going so fast on the chatterbait. And that's what I caught all my fish other than the, the, those two nine pounders I caught yesterday. And I pulled in there yesterday morning and 
right where they were sitting and throwing up there and those ain't go up there and I, well i think one of the big cues well I, I changed my line they're really spooky you know hear everybody the whole week talking about how all the big ones are everywhere and i can't catch them it is it's, I think all the Delta guys up here, they, don't, they need a little finesse in their life. You know, they got to take that 20 pound off and bring it down a little bit. And I put on the 12 pound test and they bit, you know, I caught a nine pounder and then let it sit for an hour and went back, caught another nine pounder. You know, so that, that's what, I really wasn't expecting to do this well. But when I caught, I caught the first one, it was like, yeah, yeah I can make the cut now. Then I got the second one, I got a shot to win now. But it was a lot of fun, you know, but the the main key of my whole deal was throwing that chatterbait on straight braid you know just kind of like how molten won last year you know i had to throw it in the grass like these guys are punching it i was throwing the chatterbait in it and ripping it out every single bite it gets stuck in the grass i'd rip it as hard as like he has my cone and rip it and rip it out of the grass and they would just hammer it and i just today was my best day for it uh, i know everyone's got that story i lot yeah but Finally lost one today. I hadn't lost one this whole week, and I lost, I lost one, and that it hurt pretty bad. Uh, but it, it was a great time, you know. I want, I want to thank my parents for sure, my dad right there, uh, my mom for just supporting me. You know, I couldn't come out here if it wasn't for them. Everybody at English Marine, uh, Ranger Boats, Mercury, uh, Phoenix Jigs, and Sunline. You know, I caught all my fish this week on Sunline Braid, uh, FX2 Braid. You can make really long casts with it. It was awesome. This guy run over. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> 26 pounds, 3 ounces you got to have. We're going to crown us a champion right here, folks. Mark, step up here and watch this, buddy. Woo! I also wanted to thank my girlfriend for letting me come up here. Smart move. <laughs> good move. Good move right there at the last. I like that. <laughs> Digging for fish number one, Digging 26 3. Won about $4,200 with us. Fourth of in. First top 10. First top ten, unbelievable. Fish number two, on lake you've never been on. Fish number two. Dig it for fish number three. Nowhere near. Twenty-six three. I think we all know you've got to step it up a little, buddy. Dig it for fish number four. Whoa, there's a good one. Dig it for fish number five. Whoa. Five bass limit today. He needs 26 pounds, three ounces. Most importantly, moving up enough to get more money. Five bass limited weights. 19 pounds, five ounces, 65.9. Mark your winner. Good job, guys. Get to be living the dream when you come to What about it? I'm brand new boat. Speechless, man. I'm, uh, I'm looking out in the crowd. I got so many friends and family here, man. It's unbelievable uh, the support that I get. Everybody that follows me on Facebook, you know, they, they call me, they check up on me, they text me, they email me, they send me baits. They take care of me, man. And I just want everybody to know that I love them so much. All my friends and family that support me in living my dream, which uh, has been ever since I was about five years old as a professional angler. And uh, being able to take a break from tour where I just finished in 102nd place at Beaver Lake, you know, and I had the best feeling about that lake ever. And I just had a really tough tournament. So I was uh, beating myself up a little bit. And so, you know, to have the opportunity to come back home and hook up with some friends and family and relax and just enjoy fishing again, um, you know, and then be able to come out here and, and win this tournament is just awesome. So, you know, I really don't have words to explain how I feel right now. Uh, I'm, I'm literally speechless. Wait just a minute, I got a little something for you here. Your 2014 Cal Delta Champion, Mark Daniels Jr. Folks, don't run off. We'll be right back with our presentation award. Please don't run off. We'll be right back. Appreciate everybody coming out. Everybody's running off. He just told nobody to run off. He told nobody to run off. Why is everybody running off? <laughs> I don't get it. Here we go.